I did it. You can't even hear it. You every okay. threat. Sorry. Oh, no, 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 wait. You said that every people th can no, no, be no, insecure and they might it. not. Oh you, never mind, Mark. You completely rotted my brain. I can't. I can't be in the call with you. You're. Too... What do you want to talk about? Uh, that, let's go with that. Virgins are. Um, you only the mono, uh, monogamy is only a thing for if you're insecure or a virgin. Don't think I've said either of those things, but okay. Which one do you want to start with? Well, I'm sure you were saying the other day about how like you're disagreeing with having multiple partners being um, being a instigator for more problems. I just said that most of... Here's what I think. I think that society is naturally oriented around monogamy, so that's what most people gravitate towards. I think that envisioning a non-monogamous relationship um, can introduce a lot of anxiety, but I think that generally the arguments given for non-monogamy, they don't actually make any sense if you actually analyze them. And I think there's other deeper, like emotional or other issues going on. Um, it doesn't have to be insecure. It doesn't have to be bad. So people can have preferences, but just sometimes people just give like dog shit arguments as opposed to something I think is the only thing I'm saying. Okay, so I might most, I feel like I agree with you on this 80%, but maybe I'm getting baited by some of your Twitter type takes then. Um, I'm gonna say something, let's hear if you uh, agree with it. So you'll, um, you'll phrase um, monogamy as people being insecure virgins for caring about body count, which in some ways I think is true, especially if you're coming at it from the red pill type of, um, if you have a high body count, you're a whore and you're not worth much of that Sure, point. I just, I think that the conversation around body count is highly weird i'm thinking when i my point to that that i said before and i'll say it again is that if you're like a conservative person with conservative values like you're not going to avoid a woman with a quote-unquote with a high body count you're going to naturally avoid all of those people because you're going to be avoiding people that don't align with you in terms of like value system so if there's like a person that's going out a ton a lot of dudes doing a lot of drugs etc etc you're not avoiding these people because you're on your first date saying what's your body count you're avoiding those people because you're not even running in the same circles where you would meet those people or you'd be excluding them off of other criteria in the real world that's how conservative people tend to avoid people that are non-conservative because they run in different circles and so they have other exclusion criteria okay yeah that i completely agree with um i do think there are some people who are insecure with body counts that may be a way that you um may not represent it otherwise yeah there are of um, course but i don't even talk about that because everybody gets so fucking rattled like they already are over the monogamy conversation as soon as you even bring that up as a possibility but of course there's probably a lot of insecurity there as well especially around like black people it's like like yeah. bbc and shit like that yeah that's a lot of I'm insecurity. Gonna, yeah. i'm gonna approach this from the other way from women's side because that's the only way i've heard about it i generally don't really care that much but I've had a lot of women who have some weird issues with like past body counts. And I think there's a lot of um, body count insecurity that isn't really based in specifically body count, but people kind of naturally worry about how they stack up to their partner's exes and feeling mm -hmm. inferior or like they may not yeah, of course. be viewed the same way and like having more exes may be an issue there. Yeah, women have a huge problem with that. And I think men have a huge problem with that too. Yeah, everybody has. Yeah, like a woman asking, am I the prettiest person you've ever been with? And like, there's no fucking good way to answer that if they're not. Sure. Or even a woman who's got small tits, she sees pictures of your last two girlfriends and they both have massive mommy milkers. She's going to feel... Really fucking cancer, yeah. yeah. Or a woman that like even views like your porn preferences and she's like, the last seven girls you jerked off to were blondes and my hair is brunette. Like, do you not like my hair? Like, dumb shit about that, yeah. Or um, have you ever dealt with not finishing with women um, and how they completely lose their mind? Yeah, you have to always be on point sexually. Um, when you're with a woman, because if you, if you don't orgasm like, or whatever, it's the end of the world because she's going to either blame you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Women like, definitely do that. You had a, a two hour run that day. So you just don't have blood flow <coughs> and they'll be crying for like literally two hours. Oh, it's bad. Mm -hmm. Um, another thing. So when you say this is a little bit of shit staring on you, when you say you don't like boring people, what do you mean by boring people sometimes? Um, I don't know how to explain it and it sounds really mean and it probably applies to most people So it is really mean and I, I just it's just the kind of person I am But there are just some people are just very much like NPCs like they're just very they just seem like very copy-pasted Like there's nothing interesting or entertaining or I couldn't imagine like having a conversation or whatever They just seem like very 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 boring stock people or maybe See, I, if I if I want to phrase it actually non rudely or non condescendingly because that's kind of what I mean. Maybe what I say is I really like people that are like very dynamic and expressive and relatively original. Not like super original, but just like something about them is just like stands out a little bit. So when I I'm gonna give my take on this. When I hear someone say I like interesting people, I I view people with like life experiences and interesting lenses and ways to do that. But sometimes when I watch your stream, it feels like your idea of a interesting person is someone who will fight with you almost the level of like a toddler will say the sky is green. And as long as you can disagree with them, like, that's great. Because, like, I don't know. I feel like, at least you've shown me, these are some things that, like, if you just don't want to talk to them, that's fine. But, like, Nick Bear and Mike, Dr. Mike and, like, Fergus Crawley are all pretty interesting people. 
or at least from okay here's seen. the real okay oh yeah you're the one that means about the dr mike shit all the time here's the oh, yeah, fear the that i have okay and i could be wrong and you know what listen i'll send out a mutual thing and email them here's the thing okay I'm, i might be preemptively burning the bridge okay ready dr mike seems really cool i love the research and stuff that he does for all of his um like workout stuff and it seems interesting and everything the problem is that for politically oriented views because i've watched two of his videos offline he seems like a bog standard 17 year old ayn rand libertarian that's what his whole political philosophy seems to be encompassed in like oh we should have almost no government and let people be free to choose what they want to do now maybe that's not what it is but if i have a conversation okay. with him and that's what it comes down to it's going to be incredibly disappointing now maybe that's not the case and you've seen other views or videos where he has more kind of like fleshed out political views but they seem very bog standard like high school early college libertarian-esque no that's a hundred percent accurate he has some funny meme stuff but the big one i was pushing before was uh fergus crawley he does a lot of stuff with uh, male suicide and like positive male role models he's pushed back on the manosphere before and i've tried to get you to watch one of his videos in the past he's uh critiqued a lot and how positive male role models have issues and um or big male role models have a lot of issues and it's really hard to find positive examples of that without getting to the extreme ends from short clips and stuff okay and um i think that could be an interesting talk um, and I definitely think it's a real thing. Like, um, if you'd asked me a year or two ago about, uh, do you know who Jocko Willick and, um, oh, who's the other one? Who's the Navy SEAL who's really famous? Uh, who's going to carry the boats? Who's going to carry the logs guy? I don't even know. I'm not sure. But um, Goggins? Goggins, maybe? yeah, Goggins. Um, I would have said they're just a complete negative. But the more I've been around, the more I realize that it does seem like people just can't avoid any negative feelings at all. And there may be some push in what they're doing that's good, even if the, there's some a bunch of really toxic, retarded shit packaged in with it. Can't avoid egg in any negative feelings. Wait, what do you mean? Um, kind of like hug boxes. Like if someone notices a problem with their life, they're uh -huh. not going to really take any personal responsibility. They're going to look for things to blame outside of that or a lens to look through for the world like how incels will always blame women how uh, lefties will blame capitalism nothing's none of your problems are your fault they're um because of something else because you don't really want to take an uncomfortable stance in the mirror or embrace uh embrace an uncomfortable moment okay and these guys they're um they're they have some overlap with red pill of course but they're very extreme like pretty much pain is good only good ape brain type things like if you aren't suffering every day you're just weak and oh stuff. like wake up and take a cold shower just to they're they're the yeah they're that meme um which is bad in itself but i think there's some room for something like that because i don't know do you think there's anything with people having a lot of issue now with just embracing hard truths or like uncomfortable situations it seems like hug boxes have gotten even worse Maybe, maybe not. It's honest to God, it's hard to say. Like, it seems like it's all gotten worse, but also, like, everybody says that about every generation ever. Maybe it's not. Maybe this is actually just how things always have been, but it just seems worse because there's, like, social media, so we kind of see it all the time. So, I, yeah, I don't know. That's It's one of those things where, like, like it's one of those things where, like, you talk to every generation, and every generation is like, this is the worst it's ever been, and music is the worst it's ever been, and the dancing is the worst it's ever been, but it's like, but then every generation says that, so I don't know. It's hard to say. I'm that's not sure. Fair. Um, the other day, too, you um, you may have used some colorful racial language describing how I was acting towards Ayla. Do you think that, or was that a meme? Racial language? Um, yeah, you said if Ayla were a black person talking about particle physics wrong, I would just call them something. A monkey? Stop. Not Wait, did I say that? Oh. Type the N-word yeah, with a hard R in chat. N-word in your logs, Destiny. Um, I don't. What? Oh. Okay. Uh, I was, oh, no, no, I was oh, no, 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 no. The point that I was making, oh, the point that I was making is that, like, if a black person was to come into my channel and say something stupid, um, and then someone in chat would be like, oh, this person is, she's such a fucking stupid N-word or whatever, right? I would look at that and I'd go, okay, hold on. She might have said something dumb, but your response is fucking unhinged. It's like an unhinged response. That's the comparison I'm making towards Ayla. Is that Ayla definitely has like the R, I am very smart vibes, or some people don't like Erudite because they think she agrees with me too much, whatever, which is fine. And they're totally legitimate reasons to not like these people. But the level of vitriol shows that the problem is going beyond just what the person is saying. The response is unfucking hinged. That's the point that I'm making. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I do some unhinged memes. I don't think I was actually, I think you probably got me confused with just general chatter ideas because I was mostly memeing on the AI girlfriend being kind of gross, but. Can Maybe. I ask a question though? Can I ask a question? Yeah, Why but if it's retarded, I'm banning you and doxing you and killing you in a video game. That's kind of hot, not gonna lie. Why does it matter what people call people on the internet? Do you have a hamster for a brain? Why do you mean, what no, do you mean, like, why does it matter what people can, okay, 
can you try to distill that into a more meaningful question? Why would it matter? Um, well, it would matter. Why would it matter if a girl were to call a rape a guy a rapist on the internet? What do you do? You think that would matter? Well, I mean, if you're doing it in a comedic way, like, oh, you're a f rapist, like, no. Let's like, say you're not. Let's say you say it in a serious way. No, oh, that serious. Yeah, I get that. But like, if you like calling someone the hard R on the internet, like, I, I don't find, like, if you're saying it in an angry way, but majority of the people who say like calling someone the hard R on the internet don't actually like fucking mean it, right? Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. But the problem is when you normalize that kind of language, you lead to creating people that start to make comments about black people that aren't jokes anymore. That's the issue. You, you, like, well, you, then if it's on the internet, just log off if you don't want to see it. Like, I don't get it. Like, if it's taken into real life where, like, there's hate crimes and stuff, yeah, I understand that. But if it's on the internet, like, I don't see, like, the problem. It's literally the, just... The, like, okay, whether or not you think it's a problem or not, I think it's a problem because I think we should have less racist people. I don't want everybody just logging off of all parts Everybody's racist, though. Literally but, everybody. Do you racist. think that racism is a binary? Everyone's racist. Do you think that racism is a binary? Do you I think you either are racist or you aren't racist? Or do you think there can be degrees of racism? No, I think everybody is racist. Okay. Do you Based, think everyone's flawed so I can murder people too? Good True. Take. Okay, yeah. So everybody now breaks the law. No, 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 no. You're taking it to extreme. You just said everybody's racist. Well, everybody also breaks everybody the law, right? Racist. Okay, so and everybody, everybody breaks the racist. law, right? So should we all murder everybody? That's not the same thing. I never said it's the same thing. If it was the same thing, I would just use the same words. They're two different things no that are being compared. Kill everybody, okay. but everybody is racist. Okay, sorry. Everybody I was doing the Socratic here. method, but it doesn't work when you can't answer the question. No, the answer is obviously there are degrees of racism. Some person might say racist jokes. Another person might lynch black people. Both of these people can be quote unquote racist, but obviously there's degrees of difference to their racism, right? I'm talking about the, like, the hypocrisy where people are like, oh, you can't be racist, but yet they're racist themselves. Everybody's racist on the internet. Everybody's racist in real life. It's human nature to be racist because everyone has a preference. The do you think that, that there's a, do you think that it's the same thing if my wife says, do I look fat in this dress? And I go, no, yes. and I'm lying. Tell the truth. Do you think that's the, the same truth. thing as a lie? She if somebody says, now. did you witness this guy murdering another person? Do you think those two lies are of the same degree? I think everyone should just tell the truth. Okay. Well, the, your view of the world and your analysis is so simplistic, I can't even deal with it. So I don't know how you want me to engage or what you want me to say, but yeah. No, so this is kind of like last night about... when you basically went live. You're talking to All Relevant. He called you a retard once. You immediately kicked him from the call. Because I was f***ing trolling, dude. I okay. wasn't actually upset because we had a full on... Destiny, can you troll her? <laughs> True. Let's talk. What do you want to talk well, about? I want to see what... you... Let's talk about JSTLK how you have clearly that. grown up as an incredibly attractive woman. Thank you. You know, thank you. I you have nothing useful to say. You just in oh. here taking up everybody's time. Get the fuck out. Oh well, thank you for the compliment. I'm glad you think I'm fuckable. <laughs> I think you're a ten. Thank you. I appreciate the compliment. I don't know what you look like, but I'm sure you are a stand-up human. Do I sound like I look good? Uh, no, it's not you great. sound like you're fat and wear glasses, and those are my two least favorite things. Good job, guys. No, but close. Wait, what do you look like? Can you, can you turn your game on? No, uh, Destiny, I want to talk to you about your monogamy stuff. Oh, joy. Can you give me your, like, affirmative case for how you think about this? Because I think you you basically, like, start getting attacked by people, and then you start trolling, so I have a hard time telling what you were serious about and what you are joking about. I think most people should be willing to try something. I think that it's really sad when people let cultural norms completely axe something out of their head. So I think guys should try getting pegged if they think it might be something oh. interesting. And got people should try open relationships if they want to try it once or twice. Um, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with trying something. And I think there is something wrong with feeling so culturally pushed in a direction that you can't even fathom trying something. I think that's an unhealthy mindset for, for everything, whether it's trying a hobby, a sport, a relationship style or whatever. Um, for the people that were interpreting this as like, if you're in a relationship, you should just try and open it or some retarded shit like that. I perma ban everybody that said anything is that fucking retarded. And I will continue to ban people for the threads that spawn from this conversation. So please keep making them. What Go do ahead. you feel about incest? Go for it. If you got yeah, a hot sibling, Reddit account fucking dick them down you, as hard as you. possible. So, incest. I have to okay. mute this person. Fuck this person. I'm asking genuine fucking questions. Sure, mute the me. Okay, I'll mute you too. I'll mute you too. Anyway. Darius. Help. Yes. Tell us yeah, yeah, to yeah. get the fuck out of here. Yo, 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 it's just Steve. Uh, Zena said she needs her perms back. She got kicked out for saying it. I'm gonna jam right now. I can't be loud. Why does she um, keep saying the N-word on my it? Discord server? Just stop saying it. Says, she will, but can you just give her perms back? She can come here and Merkel leave. Thank you. I'll, yeah, bye. do it later. I'll see you, bye. Anyway, so you genuinely believe people should try incest? Um, generally not. But not because it's incest, but usually because incest carries with it, like, a bunch of other negative 
things that don't go well with sexual so relationships. So let's say it didn't. Let's say it didn't carry negative consequences. Let's say that you got reunited with your long lost twin brother who's 23 years old and you're both men. You want to suck each other off? Knock yourselves out. I don't think it matters. Go for it. Have you fucked your brother? Fuck no. Would you? No, fuck you, Mars. Oh. Don't post as much NSFW yeah, I, I want. Kind of You'll never stop me. Yeah. Don't create Not endless alt accounts. Keep it chat. Um, okay, so you think people should try, like, everything? Is, I, or is that a broad statement? I, I think anybody should be open to try something, yeah. If you, Have you pissed on people? Yeah, in the shower once, sure. I've been pissed on in the shower. That's normal. That's cute. I, that's you. adorable. Nice. You know? Uh, what about shitting on people? No, I don't think I would ever want to try that. What's the nastiest thing you've done? Um, probably f your mom without an enema in the ass. Damn. I'm sorry, that's that wasn't a real question. Okay, JS Tail, what's your next question? Or what? Do you hear my affirmative case? Yeah, I heard it. It's basically so. I think probably what people had issues with were your like arguments against so monogamy. Wrong. Specifically, like the biggest one. No, no, no. The biggest one that was so stupid was how people like don't talk about what turns them on outside of their relationship, or people don't like they want to deny that their partner's turned on by other people. No healthy monogamous relationship is like that. Nobody I know is like that. That's everybody talks nobody to Nobody you know is like that? On. That's literally that's, sure. And that's anybody great I know who's like that friends. is totally damaged and everybody knows that they're not well adjusted. That's great, but literally every sitcom in the history of all of mankind has made jokes about husbands looking at other women and their wives getting jealous. Now maybe that's just a weird sitcom joke that has no translation whatsoever to the real world, but I think it's a pretty common thing in relationships that partners look at their other partner and they're like, mm, you're looking at that girl a little bit too long, or like, mm. I think it was a common thing in what year? Probably in current day. No. Like the, these norms have all changed. They're all changing over time. Like in twenty twenty three. So you think it's that it's a you normal. think that it's a norm that if a twenty seven year old guy and a twenty six year old girl who are dating were at a cafe and a super banging girl comes in and the guy looks at her for maybe a second or two too long, that his girlfriend would go would kind of like hit him on the shoulder like, oh, she's pretty hot, huh? And she wouldn't feel no. any type of insecurity about that. No, she might elbow him and be like, what are you doing? But it That's wouldn't be true. like ending the relationship. It wouldn't be something no, people are No, hold on. Yeah, about. no, no, no. I'm not saying ending the relationship. Like you dump them. I'm just saying that it's pretty common that people have like this set of insecurities around their partner's eyes wandering. That's a pretty common thing. Yeah, but you did specifically say multiple times that people have like coped themselves and deluded themselves into thinking their partner only finds them attractive, which I'd argue nobody thinks. Okay, I disagree. I think that people try to build this idea that in a, monog in a monogamous relationship will ignore whatever large percentage of people literally believe in things like soulmates and stuff. But that thing of like, oh, he's got eyes only for me or my partner should only find me attractive or should only think about me sexually, should only That's like, um, I think I think that there's a lot of people that have issues around that. I, I, I think that there are, are, like if I had to guess, I'd say like 30 to 50% of couples have issues or delusions relating to what their partner might find attractive. If I had to guess, I don't know if we could find polling data on this, but my guess. I, th I think that goes back to like personal insecurity because like me and my past relationships, like when they looked at another person, like yes, it made me feel very insecure, but that was like my responsibility. That's my problem. That's me projecting my feelings. My partner is more than welcome to look at another person because I, as myself, I acknowledge beauty. I, if I see someone who's attractive, they're attractive. You just, it's normal. You know what I mean? It's up to me to respond maturely to that situation. Now, if he looks at someone, I, I could either A, play it off like, oh, you, yeah, we'd fuck, like I'd fuck her, like type shit, or I could get insecure and like get mad about it. I don't think there's any, you know, positive outcome of getting insecure and jealous that your partner looks at somebody else because let's be honest everybody looks at everybody everyone notices beauty and that's just how it is yep yeah and destiny's just describing the difference between like Did an you... ideal in a on, relationship no 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 shut the fuck up he's no, describing no. the difference between an ideal and what people know the reality is of course you want your partner to only find you attractive and you might even think like when you go to sleep at like that's your dream but everybody knows that that's not the case and they're not actually deluding themselves into thinking otherwise in any healthy relationship <laughs> you talk about what you find attractive with each other what what okay maybe yeah wait you does a mark two minor work better on impure things than a mark one minor like it should still do well right or am i crazy huh huh why don't you pull it in chat put in the um put the an option for people who aren't in a relationship and then for people who are in like a monogamous relationship whether they discuss like things they find hot outside of their partner with their partner well the, i'm not even if no not only am i not gonna do that i'm gonna roast the f out of you for even saying to do that because i guarantee <laughs>
fucking T, I know you, that if I were to go through your logs, I bet you've roasted the fucking hell out of fucking Ayla for doing her quote unquote Twitter polls. And now you want me to do a poll of my chat to try to prove a point where everybody is more emotionally invested in this topic than anything I brought up on stream in the past six months. Good one, dude. I'm I'm literally not trying to like get a dunk. I'm I think you're actually just way off base on this. Okay, maybe I am. Question: Do people actually care about this stuff, or is it all done for content? This? What do you mean stuff around relationships and sex? Yeah, people have cared about this stuff for the, all of human no, history. I mean, like, arguing about? No, I I know people. That's not what I meant. Let me let me try and rephrase that. Um, I know people care about that, but like, do people actually care as much as they say? Like, do they actually care about what other people do? Like. And yeah, why? Yeah, of course. why is that? People why care people about it because what other people do is can sometimes be a reflection of what you should be doing or what you can handle. So for instance, let's say that it was the case that, uh, I'll use a hyperbole in both directions. Let's say that it was the case that a, a, a person was really into just one woman and only wanted one woman, and he couldn't even imagine wanting multiple women, and all of a sudden you've got a whole bunch of people that are saying otherwise, he's gonna wanna say, no, hold on, we're supposed to be monogamous, we're not supposed to be open, we're supposed to be monogamous, because if all those other people are capable of doing something that he's not, then he feels like something's wrong with him. Or on the flip side, if an open person or poly person was saying, oh no, this is what humans are meant to do, like monogamy is weird and blah, 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 he might just be saying that because he's uncomfortable with the idea that he might be the outlier. So people are really invested in making sure that everybody has the same set of preferences as they do, because if their preferences are abnormal or skew off the norm, they feel broken or damaged. That's why and so many people in the, the red pill and all the all other the communities have to say that we're all the same and we all do these things because yeah, people can't live and let live because it means something might be off or different or weird about them. Yeah. Okay, uh, what, what would be your perfect utopia? Like what is a perfect world for you? For me? I don't know. Yeah. I, I think largely speaking, I think as long as it's not societally destructive and people are able to contribute in meaningful ways to their communities, most people should be allowed to do and explore and experiment with what they want to. I think I, I fundamentally, I believe the same thing. It's just I don't want it to affect my life. I don't give a f who you f in the ass as long as my kids aren't seeing that on the f TV, in the schools, in church, wherever they be. I don't want that. I don't want, I don't want that. I believe, I believe that. But also at the same time, like, it's like, I just don't know why people are so hung up on what everyone else is doing. Like, who gives a shit? Like, everyone is so, like, people don't realize. Like, for example, whenever I was doing, like, some things that my therapist suggested I try. I went and, uh, I went to a beach. I wore a bikini. And because I don't like my body. So I'm very, I, I, I'm somewhat insecure about my body. I don't like wearing a bathing suit, but I did it. And when you remind yourself that everyone is so. Holy f nobody cares. Jesus just let her fight. Christ. Bro, if you let it go on that long, you might as well let her f finish. Okay, are go you, ahead. Are you serious? Nope, he's super serious. Go. The point is, everyone is so worried about their own shit that they're not paying attention to anybody else. Everyone is so insecure that if people realize that they're, they're not focused on you, the world would be so, like a better place. Once I realized that nobody was looking at me because they were more worried about themselves, like everything got easier. So what I'm saying is, people shouldn't care. Nobody fucking cares. Ultimately, nobody cares. None of this fucking matters, and that's how it should be. Okay, that's... I should be able to be a furry. Great to feel that way, but I, I the thing is a lot of people do care, I think. It's really important to a lot of people. We're seeing that right now with, like, trans shit right now. There's a lot of people who care a lot about what other people think and what other people do with their lives and bodies and sexuality and everything else. It's also why I tried to come in and, like, say, like, what's your affirmative case? Because I don't really have any interest in trashing your poly relationship. Like, I don't actually care. The only time I've ever, like, brought this up with you is when you've basically let... <clears throat> your opponents define you and get you to push and say like, oh, monogamy is all sh or whatever I've you've never done said that in my now. entire f life, but the problem okay, is- Okay, I- Yeah, monogamous you just, people- You were just saying you can that say people are want. like insecure. No, I didn't, night. you can't even hear it. You, every okay. threat- Sorry, no, 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 wait. you said every, that people no, can no, no, be no, insecure and they might it. not analyze True. why they're insecure. But that's not what you said before and that's not what you feel. The problem is if I say anything uh, about monogamy- no, no, I I went back and watched it a second time just to make sure I wouldn't do that, but then I did it, so it's All of you prove my point every time you open your fucking mouth. Destiny thinks people are monogamous manager are insecure. That's not true. Some people can do poly and open relationships because they're insecure. People can do things for insecurity all the time. I'm not saying that one style of relationship is good or bad, but like you'll hear me saying like, oh, that is true. One style of relationship isn't good or bad. Good for you, Destiny. But that's but that's not what you're thinking in your head. You're thinking in your head like Destiny's saying that, but he understands that like open relationships and polish it are unhinged insane things and he's saying this to be responsible but no that's bullshit that's crazy okay people are very quick to like that bala girl or bella girl was saying that like uh like oh yeah like as long as you would never prescribe anything you do for anybody else ever and you acknowledge that monogamy is going to be the default correct answer for 99.99 percent of people it's okay for us to have different opinions but i think that's kind of weird because i think most of the arguments people give against open or poly shit like tend to fit monogamous shit too and it just doesn't make much sense other than it's like it's a cultural norm sorry god 
Yeah, no, I, I, I try not to do that. And it's just literally like when I'm having a quick conversation and trying to get a word in before this bitch starts talking again, Jesus. it's a little hard. I just like go to keep talking. Okay, go ahead. Question, why do so many people, and I'm not asking this to be a troll. I'm not asking this to start shit. Why do so many people hate your wife on the internet? Um, one, two, relationship styles and wife. Uh, for wife specifically, it's because I've spent a lot of time in red pill spaces. And because what I said earlier is people cannot handle people with alternative lifestyles because they would have to reflect on their own lifestyle. So I'm in an open marriage with my wife. It is impossible in most people's minds that they could enjoy an open relationship. So the only way that I can be doing mine is if I'm either coping or I'm uh, like a cuckold. So when people go to attack me, because you can't attack me because I don't care what random versions I have to say about me on the internet, the only way they can do it is through other people People, like relationships or like my wife is what people will go through and yeah so then the 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 default just becomes like oh Destiny must be coping he must hate his current blah 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 even my own retarded fan base does it sometimes um when they get mad at me over shit but that's just it because people can't fathom lifestyles other than their own and if somebody's doing I, something they can't fathom then yeah they have to like make an excuse I, for why it's working i agree i agree so you're proud to be a cuck like by definition are you a cuck but no by definition i'm I, not a cuck well, but even if is. i was i sure i would probably be a cuck what the Cares. If I wanted to be a cuck, I'd be the best cuck in the world. Personally, I'm yeah, not, w but like, cuck. I don't w care. Cuck. I, even if I what, maybe I will. Maybe I'll start saying I'm a cuck just so that people can have that much more fun with it. I don't really give a fuck. And if, you know what? I know girls that do cuckle shit with guys. If guys want to do that, who the fuck cares? As long as they enjoy it, they're yeah, happy with it. Who w cares? Cucks. But the problem is it's not about the cuck. When they use the cuck insults and they talk about cuck, it has nothing to do with like cuckoldry as a fetish. And it doesn't even have anything to do with like cuckoldry in general of like step parents or anything. It's just like a weird insult that people use to map on people's political or sociopolitical views of like relationships and dating and everything. That's like, that's w the whole thing it becomes a proxy for it, which is just a fucking w retarded waste of time. If you're happy as a cuck, you know, that, that like that's the thing. Like just do what makes you happy at the end of the day. And you know what makes me happy? For not you? having sex at all. I have not oh. had sex in months. I don't have I don't have any human relationships. I just stay in my room. So I don't really have. That's why I ask these questions because I want to get educated on like the art of being a cuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I'm not used to this. I I I'm a monogamist. My last relationship ended in May, and I've been single ever since. I don't have sexual content attacks with anyone. I don't <clears throat> talk to people. I'm very like I wouldn't say I'm asexual, but like I just I'm the type of person. If I'm meant to be in a relationship, I'll be in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Do you actually just farm with like the lowest effort bait that you can? Ooh. What do you mean? Are you're you're just spamming slurs and then you're like, hey guys, look, I'm. How I'm, am I uh, spamming slurs? Having... When have I said a slur? When have I actually said a slur? Have you had a seat like a concussion recently? Because you've probably said. Yes, me. Have I said a slur since I got here? Have I ever said a slur since I got here? Today, no. But in the past, Thank yeah, you. of course, in you're the past, slurs. yeah, sure. Yeah. But don't say I'm sit don't sit here and say I'm saying it now just because you're angry did, that I'm having a, like, trying to be a part of a conversation. Sure. And bad. that's the problem with people like you. You get mad because either it's going to be for content or either it's going to be for a positive, um, pr productive conversation. And either way, I'm trying to take part in that, and you're mad because I'm trying. Wow. You got me, I'm mad. You came back. You came back. You could have stayed gone. I'm just here trying to talk, get to know people, do my thing, and that's it. Everyone has their own fucking lane, dude. You got it right. Yep, I'm mad. Clearly. So why'd you come back? <clears throat> um, I actually uh, wanted to ask Destiny something. Yeah, what's okay. up? Ask your king something. Go ahead. So, uh, oh my god. You, never mind, Merc. You completely <laughs> rotted my brain. I can't, I can't be in the call with you. You're too... Okay, bye. You're like bye. a black hole of brain cells. All right, yeah, yeah. Sex, right? Yeah. Yeah, think about it. Just think I'm about what you're going to say. No, no, yep. think about what you're going to say. Not the toxic risk. Are you, you going you gonna to say what you need to say? Yeah, he's working on it. Hold on. I'll, right. I'll just go I, on. While you lost you... my breath, so yeah, go ahead. No, I, no I I'm saying, hold on. Something. That's all you had to say? You had like 50 billion things that I've been chat last night, and those are the only two innocuous questions you had Wait, for me, me now? Yes. Wait, no. Me. Okay. no, 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 not you. JSTL. Probably you too, motherfucker, but definitely JSTL. No, JSTL I said, I, like, sorry, I wasn't saying I was going to leave. I mean, I can go with like another point. Oh, okay. I just feel like you guys have so much to say in chat. Probably on my subreddit. Yeah, too, no. Uh... You guys both come off as alt makers. I know you motherfuckers. Both have alts. You ship posts for my subreddit on. Do not have and now, an when you're in fucking Discord, an now you got like two innocuous questions, and that's it. Hmm. I had an alt, but you banned it. Like, thank two God. Ago. Good. I mean, I ship post all the time, and I, I really don't like that. I, I like Ayla. She's a, like a nine out of ten orbiter. I don't like that. I have an idea of misogyny right now because uh, I, dude, I literally got started on the stream by everyone soy posting me because I got mad about Mr. Girl being a rapist. That's how I got started. Mr. Girl. That's a long story. Don't worry about that. 
about okay. that shit. Um, <laughs> also, Relly, I love you. I'm sorry I got mad at you about that. Wait, Stevie, were you actually getting shit from your chat or Reddit? Yeah, your my subreddit, subreddit about... goes fucking unhint. People that are monogamous are the most insecure about their sexual preferences in the world. It's actually unfucking real. Uh, like the oh, ins- don't throw us all in the Come on. The yeah, insane Relly's po- got a really the, retarded opinion on this too. The if insane you want to sit here and catch some smoke. The insane posting that goes on my subreddit. Anytime I bring up anything related to this conversation, the level of unhingedness is unreal. There are like three people that point it out, but they get like super dumb about it. That like every time this conversation comes up, we're like, I think people should be willing to try things. The amount of monogonoid posting that goes on on my subreddit where people just start to shit down my throat because they're so fucking ass over is actually unhinged. Like, it's so easy to just be like, oh, you know, I don't think I'd like that style of relationship. I probably just wouldn't do it or whatever. And then, like, Least be on poison it. destiny well. What do you mean? Jesus. Go read the fucking subreddit post. I've been like a hundred fucking You're acting like, like the only thing you said last night was, oh, you should be open to new things. That was That's essentially the my only argument. point you made? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Give, want a I'm curious. Go Wait, find me quotes for things. I just went through the whole point about how you think monogamous people like apparently think that their significant other isn't attracted to anybody else. This is the first point I brought up. That yes, that is a thing that I believe. That's not an unhinged belief. I think that especially Wait, as you skew older, I think that a lot of people do think that my partner should only have eyes for me. That if he's finding like other women attractive, like, looking at women in, like swimsuits and shit, that's not okay. I think that that's a pretty common. Now that might skew older. Maybe really, maybe younger people don't think that anymore. And I haven't been in college in a long time. I might fuck college girls, but I don't know what the people all date and talk to each other are like. So maybe when you talk to like a 22 year old, maybe they don't think that anymore. Maybe this is like only people that are like boomers or Gen Xers or whatever. But I think that's a fairly common opinion amongst monogamous people. Like I don't want my husband like looking at a woman in a bathing suit. He shouldn't find other women attractive like that. That's like, yeah. You I, I feel like there, there's two different there's two different statements being argued here. It seems like JSCLK is referring to the idea that you are saying that monogamous people believe that no, they don't find their partners don't find anybody attractive, anybody else attractive. And what you're referring to is that monogamous people are insulted or, or insecure about the idea of their partners finding other people No, attractive. he said does the it, first verbatim. Does, does oh, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 This is a one at a time talk, so if anybody talks to anybody else, I'm gonna start muting mics, okay? Because we're not doing this shit from yesterday, okay? Jesus. Okay. Did you did, finish your point you or No, no, I wanted, well, JLCLK said that you said nobody, nobody, uh, Okay, hold on. Irrelevant. Hold on. You're a streamer. You've been here for a long time. What the fuck is going on with your microphone? Are you at the gym? Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm at the gym with Airbus. Oh, okay. That's fine. Okay. That's acceptable. Okay. Gym just on Discord. Sure. That is crazy. Good. That I'm just making, no, no, has- that's acceptable. Okay. I'm just making sure you're not at home and you're not like masturbating literally into the microphone or some crazy shit is going on. Okay. Um, no, no. What I'm saying is that monogamous people, in general, I think it's pretty common that they have a lot of insecurities around their partner and maybe even unrealistic expectations around what their partner should look at. So somebody in chat just brought up a good point. For older people, I've listened to my parents do this and other boomers or Gen Xers do this, where they get upset if they catch their like partner looking at another person and finding them attractive. I think the younger version of that is getting mad to find out that your boyfriend is looking at girls' Instagrams. I think that's something that people can get upset about, which is, in my opinion, ridiculous. Do you think that's a fair characterization of uh, monogamous relationships? I kind of feel that's um, similar to like how Republicans in 2012 would characterize lefties as like I know screaming at Trump being elected. Hold on. Repeat the last part of what you just said. I'm sorry. I feel like that's kind of similar to like you're, you're taking a caricature of like the worst examples. Like, sure. Yeah, let's, course, how about we? Everyone's, everyone's insecure, right? Like monogamous people are insecure. <laughs> there's probably some room to like have acceptable insecurity and say that's a thing and i feel like i can completely reframe this to say uh poly people are insecure as well like there's probably a lot of poly couples where it's just fueled by insecure people who really need validation from multiple people and can't handle not getting that validation from multiple sure people and i that's probably that true so we can put numbers on it right this is if i had to guess i'm just super guessing okay super guessing but i'll, I'll give you percentages for how i feel things are if how i had to guess about- are you serious sorry. you fucking sorry i didn't mean to okay i, I thought you sorry sorry I didn't mean to. okay sorry Okay, sorry. So I was gonna. Okay, sorry. No, you're not going to. Okay, because I'm gonna respond to what he just said directly to me. Okay. All right. If I had to guess, I would say probably 25 to 45 percent of young women have tried to look through the phone of their boyfriend or looked through who they were liking on Instagram. That'd be a guess. Do you think that's a fair guess, or do you think that's an outrageously high guess? Do you think the number is like five to zero percent? Like as a woman, no, as a woman, everyone does it. Well. As a woman, speaking of this, everyone does it. Every girl does it. I'm not okay. gonna lie. Every girl does it. Sure. Okay, Jacob, what do you think? Do you think that's a fair guess? Do you think it's not? I would say twenty-five to forty-five. I think that's a conservative guess. Yeah. I think okay. Sure. Okay. 
I would consider that to be in line with what I'm saying. That like a uh, wealth, healthy, well-adjusted couple would be like, yeah, my partner probably does look at other Instagrams and finds other people attractive, that's fine. But I'm guessing that a lot of people, I'm gonna say a lot, I mean like a little bit less than half probably like have a problem with what their partner is like looking at like on Instagram. That'd be my guess. Would you be willing to hear that if someone's liking pictures rather than just looking at them and liking them like inherently in their head? Like if, um, I've heard this from girls before is like, if I'm dating a dude and I'm friends with a girl and she's posting thirst traps and my boyfriend is liking those pictures, she sees that and she's making judgments on that. Do you think that's fair or do you think that's unreasonable? Um, I think it's unreasonable unless the guy's like DMing the girl. But I would go a step further and I would say most girls would probably be upset if they caught their boyfriend even looking at those pictures. Oh, but girls can get away with doing I it. Would, I would absolutely say that's unhealthy. And I'm, I'm not super committed to either point on the other one, but that's a point I've heard from women in the past. Sure, so. and I would agree that it's unhealthy, but not just unhealthy. I think it's very, I think it's very common, like almost 50%, that's what I would guess. Uh, absolutely. I mean. Would you, um, what would you say the level of like unhealthy fueled poly relationships is then? Um, the problem is that because, how do I change the color on everything? Is there a way to do it? Is it factory switch? Um, the problem with poly relationships is you can probably find people that come from, like if I had to guess, poly relationships probably encompass the most healthy styles of relationships and probably the least healthy styles of relationships. It kind of like BDSM stuff. You probably get people that try it that are very aware of like norms and everything. And you probably get people that try it that just want to do crazy shit and have no respect for norms and everything. So I think it'd be really hard to find like a median or middle part there because you're going to encompass like so many different types of people. I feel like- How long you've been married to your wife? Um, we've been together for four or five years. We've been married for like two, I guess. Gotcha. Okay. I feel like you have a pretty dark view of monogamous relationships. Like you don't think there's some pretty healthy like partnerships that last a long time. Yeah, of course there are. Yeah, I'm sure of course there are. Oh, well, you said the healthiest relationships are probably all poly is what I thought I just heard. No, he said most healthy and unhealthy. Like it, it's both. Like it's they're well, both Well, yeah, equal. if they're the most healthy, that means it's healthier than the most healthy monogamous <laughs> Well, no, no. I'm sure there are really healthy people. monogamous relationships too, but like people... <coughs> Wait, how do I? This will apply to all buildings by default. Click edit on the top ones. Oh my God. Um, sorry, repeat what you were saying. Um, it, you made it sound like the healthiest, the very healthiest gold standard relationships would be poly. Is that what you think? Or do you think there's probably monogamous relationships that are just as, or possibly more healthy? No, no. What I'm saying is that for monogamous relationships, if we measure, if we measure healthiness, um, if we were to measure healthiness from zero to 100, my guess would be that the median for poly and the median for monogamous would both be around 50, okay? Or, or the oh. mean. However, for monogamous relationships, the distribution would be normal like a lot of them would be like kind of like in the middle and then you'd have a few really bad ones and a few really good ones. But for poly or non-traditional relationships, you, would, you wouldn't have a normal distribution. You'd have a, a, a one, in the, yeah, one in the lower end and one in the higher end. You'd have a lot of really unhealthy ones and then maybe a lot of really healthy ones. But there's probably not very many like ordinary poly relationships. They're probably either really fucked up or really like healthy and exciting. That'd be my guess. I have a question. So say, say social media doesn't exist. Say when homo sapiens first showed up on the fucking earth, no social media, no outside influence, do you think that humans would be monogamous or polyamorous? Um, Monogamy is a response to civilization. Good one. Um, when you live in so like you my, my random guess groups is, in the woods, it's not really there. My guess is gonna be that people probably skew towards monogamy. That'd be my guess in so forests and hunter-gatherer so societies. Who said that? Uh, not Destiny, but the other dude who was just talking. So you don't think that monogamy or like mating for life is not biologically like normal and like instinctually normal? Uh, it might happen quite a bit, but when you don't have to protect your young because there aren't very many other apex predators around you, you don't have to be as monogamous. So we don't mate for life as, as homo so, No, the reason we now mate for life is, is cultural. There is like a biological predilection there, but it's not but aren't that all strong. Ma don't all mammals mate for life though? Or is no, it okay. I think that in the evolutionary history of humans, we practice serial monogamy. I think that's generally what we tend towards because that's the only guaranteed reproductive strategy. Since there aren't external cues for when women are in heat and you don't know when to fuck them to make them pregnant, the only guaranteed way to do it is to fuck them over long periods of time. So the human reproductive strategy has generally been serial monogamy. You're with one person well, for a long time. If you break up, you break up. But the next person you date, you'll be with for a long time. I don't think you tend yeah. to fuck so, multiple people or fucking big families because you don't have a guaranteed reproductive strategy at that point. Here's my thing. If we're like, because I love, I, 
I am in veterinary school. Um, I I'm I have an animal science degree. Like I'm into all of that. So I like to think from like a biological standpoint. The point of animals, especially mammals, is to grow, reproduce, and respond to stimuli. So part of reproducing is finding a mate. And as Homo sapiens, as humans, we are we mate for life, and we produce. Dudes in the ass does not mean you can reproduce. So it's I think it's outside of the norm, and I think from a biological standpoint. What? Okay, hold on. Great. First of all, what is your degree on? Wow. Oh my god. I have an animal science degree, and I'm in vet school. BA or BS? Um, it's going to be. Uh, well, I have to go on to specialization oh. in equine. Hold on. Okay, so hold on. You're in school, medicine? so you're a high school grad. Yeah. Okay. How many years into college no, are you? No, I I have an early childhood development degree. I have an animal science degree, and I'm currently attending Purdue to start my veterinary uh education. so you have like the papers what do you mean the diplomas I can show you my transcripts okay i'm just curious i'm sorry okay so yeah i can the... show you my transcripts okay don't sorry, let her do me... that she will literally show you her driver's license yeah. if you ask that's her that's fine yeah. i don't need to see her driver's license okay um the, so the purpose of anything is to is literally to just reproduce finding a mate and all of that or whatever whatever strategy ends up working some things find mates some things mate for life that's incredibly rare actually mating for life some things and then literally eat the husbands afterwards or the the men afterwards yeah. right that's what spiders do like um i'm sure if you've got your animal whatever the f degree you've heard of like r series versus k series selected animals where some have high investment offsprings that require a mate to take care of them others are like bunnies and they fuck and they make like 200 children they eat like 20 of them and then they run away and they don't give a fuck so like yeah everything is in a reproductive strategy um for humans i mean like have you ever heard of the gay uncle theory or whatever gay son thought daughter don't know what that means but like there are some evolutionary theories that say that like having homosexuality in a population at some low percentage could be beneficial socially because you get uh, additional caretakers that aren't competing for genetic resources um i don't know if that's true or not but that's one theory that's been proposed for why gay people might exist would you rather have a gay son or thought daughter uh i don't give a f probably a gay son because a thought daughter of your thought it probably sounds like you have some unhealthy shit going on but who knows i don't know I'm, it depends on what you mean so by thought. Homosexuality is not. Un is homosexuality is healthy? Why are you derailing with this autism? Yeah. What do you I'm mean asking, by I'm asking homosexuality yeah. healthy? I think you can practice so homosexually. I think you can practice. Stop, just, stop derailing. Don't let them derail you. I don't think it's necessarily unhealthy to be homosexual. No. Okay. Destiny, do you think you um kind of skew relationships with the implicit assumption of not having kids, or do you think that a poly relationship will be just as stable and healthy when you incorporate kids? No, I don't know how I get asked the most retarded fucking questions. I'm I'm just giving you a chance to talk so you can define yourself here. Okay, it, like, sure, I will. But it's like such an unbelievably retarded. If you have a child with somebody, you're probably not going to be like running around fucking a million people and bringing crazy people into the household. Like after you do that, that'd be my guess is that all relationships, monogamous or poly, probably change pretty significantly once a child is involved. That'd be my guess. Okay, so they'd probably tend towards monogamy or a couple stable partners at that point is what you'd say? Something like that. That'd be my guess, yeah. Okay, okay, that's fine. I don't really know much about poly stuff, so... Don't worry. That's, uh, neither does ha, your mom. Jesse, <laughs> can, I ask, can I ask about, like, your childhood, like, how you grew up, like, your family and stuff like that? Yeah, my dad used to f*** in the ass every day. It was amazing. I learned about my male G-spot at a really early age. Then he got arrested. Oh, my goodness gracious. What do you want? What are you asking me? You're asking me about my childhood is the most vaguest, broadest question in the fucking world. I want just whatever you feel naturally comes. Just tell me about it. Because like, I naturally come into my own our, mouth. When I was a kid, I learned to suck myself off. It was the best feeling honestly. in the fucking world. I would not yes, be surprised. Yes, I loved it. Every single day, what I would I'm do it in my bedroom. What I'm asking is, okay, so for me, the way I grew up, all right? Um, I have daddy issues. I didn't know my father. Don't I was worry, literally every single eight. person my, was. I was oh, my household much. was Jesus. very abusive. I was poor. I didn't yeah. have food. I sometimes we didn't have water or electricity. The reason I'm asking is because who we are as a kid and the things we go through as a kid is shape who we are as a human, as an adult. So that's why I'm asking, like, what? Sure does. It absolutely does. But the issue is trying to find the causal things that happened to you in childhood that shape who you, shape who you are as an adult could be a fool's errand. It's very hard to say. I might say, for instance, oh, I that, well, I started watching. That. That's, That's great. Right. It probably would. I might say that, well, I started watching porn at 11 years old and the first porn that I watched was a gay porn. Maybe that's the reason why I'm bi. And that could be the case. Or maybe it's the case that if in childhood you're exposed to a lot of anime and the 
boys in anime tend to have smoother skin and that makes you more feminine? Maybe that's what makes you gay. And we have no idea because we just haven't studied that, right? It's a really difficult thing trying to draw a causal link from what do we experience in childhood into what makes us the way that we are growing up. For instance, I would say I have really good financial habits, probably better than most people. Even when I was poor and financially destitute, I had good financial habits. I never got payday loans. I never went into credit card debt. Why is that? That's because I saw my parents do absolutely horrible things with their finances. However, the rest of my family, my older family, all have horrible financial habits. But why? It's because they were exposed to the exact same stimulus as me. They saw my parents have horrible financial habits, and then they got horrible financial habits. So both of us were exposed to the same thing, but we turned out completely different. Why? I don't know why. That's why I'm, I'm always hesitant or reticent to say like, well, this happened to me when I was a kid, so that must be why I'm this way. Because different people will experience the exact same stimulus and have totally divergent responses. I don't know why. Are traps gay? Okay, JSTL and Jacob, what do you guys got? What else? Yeah, can we can we get back to the uh, yeah, thing? Sorry. Did you We're guys? Back. I just I have one last quick derailment question. Go. That's Go just to it. ask Merck if she realizes that she's trolling or if she like if she's actually trying to follow the conversation and like no, I'm add to it. It's really embarrassing. Dude, but like I just hope she's you. trolling. Why why do I have to take on the emotions that you feel? You are embarrassed for me. I'm not embarrassed for myself. I can get on the internet and say whatever the fuck I want. I don't give a shit. The point is I'm actually trying to have a conversation. I still can't tell. I, oh my god. All right, brother. <coughs> Have a good one. Bye. Hey, were our questions alleviated? Bye. Okay, chill. Chill. Look at Wow, sorry, I wonder why sorry, he sorry. thinks. How is this word making a comeback so much? Can you guys stop? Jesus. Hey, honestly, you know, I fuck bitches and men, so... I'm I don't believe you. I think you actually hate gay people. So I'm uncomfortable with you saying it, because no, I do suck dick, I'm and it makes me uncomfortable. I feel uncomfortable. Wait, you're gay? I'm half gay, yeah. You need to send me videos of you eating a girl out, otherwise you're not allowed to use I that will. word in here, hey, okay? I will. Good, I will. okay. For real? Yeah, and then once you do, you can use the F-slur. Okay, I'm half black. Can I say hard R? Uh, you need to send me a picture of your father and a 23andMe proving that that's your dad. That's what you accept. I'm going to say it either way. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind. Well, I, I can also just, girls. you know, no, I'm not gonna, my... I'm not gonna say it on your show. I already told you the other day. I don't want to disrespect, like, you know. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate but that. The, but at the end of the day, nobody's gonna tell me what I can and cannot say. Well, I mean, I'm not telling you what you can or cannot say in the rest of your life. The context is pretty obvious that if you want access to this room, you're gonna abide by the rules of this room. Yeah, and I am. I'm just saying. Thank I don't you. like when, like, I'm just saying too. Like in general, like, oh, you can't. Miss That's great, but we're not talking. I don't know who. Hard wait, hard. who? What? Who the asked who told you things in general nobody cares we're not talking about that right now we're talking about what we say in this room okay on my stream okay also uh, are the questions alleviated as to wait no, hold on. previous comments about a monogamy oh wait i'm sorry i thought jstl he had a question for mark sorry okay all right what's up uh well like there seemed to be a statement that you were saying stupid shit about monogamy and you explained yourself i'm wondering if that explanation was sufficient for the two people that disagree with you oh what was the question? The question was about, uh, you know, monogamous people finding, uh, being insecure about the idea of other people uh, being attractive to their partners. Oh, I just and think that it's a, I think it's a pretty normal feature of monogamy, but I think it's pretty unhealthy. But I think it's a pretty normal thing. The only reason I bring that up is because people, people will say something like, oh, well, I think most people are too jealous for polyamory, or I think people are too jealous naturally for monogamous relationships, which might be true, but I think you can make a similar argument saying, I think most people are too jealous for relationships, period. In my personal opinion, this is my personal opinion. I would opinion. like to point out If that I was in a normal monogamous relationship and <laughs> my girlfriend were to go through my phone and get upset at me for liking a girl or for even looking at a girl's Instagram, I would dump her immediately. I would never be in a relationship in my life. Now, I know that I skew like hardcore into the open realm, but even if I agreed to do like a monogamous relationship, I like even when I did do monogamous relationships, I would that would never be a thing. I can't, I couldn't imagine a woman doing that to me. But a lot of monogamous people will do that. I'm like, that seems really unhealthy to me. But they're like, okay with those types of relationships. So, yeah. Also, I think Xena wants to be pulled up. Uh, in the fuck call. no, no! I'm, every time I try to have an interesting couple, I'm not gonna have 50 million people screeching in this fucking room. We already have too many right, in here. Right. Jesus. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. Uh, wait. So, is JC okay? Wait, are you a very serious boy? person? Like, you is like debating your entire like personality. I'm not an asshole. Yeah, this I'm in, literally like, a, like a 14 year long fucking internet debater person. That's literally my whole fucking thing. That's my shtick. Okay. Well, that's your shtick. Okay, cool. Yeah. I respect that. Thank are you, you happy? I am. I'm a very happy person. Good. Then congratulations, because a lot of people aren't happy in life. So oh, well, I'll thank give you that. I try to do my best to be. You know. Yeah. Also, just to be clear, when you were talking about uh, uh, in poly relationships or open relationships, you're probably going to have a greater distribution of people who have the most healthy relationship. That isn't a statement that monogamous relationships cannot 
be as healthy or even potentially more healthy. It's just a statement that as it currently stands, there's a lot of open relationships, right? That are more healthy. Yeah, it's just there's going to be distribution on both sides. It's the same thing with like BDSM. You're probably going to find a lot of people like you're not going to find anybody that does BDSM that does it like and they have like a normal understanding of like consent, for instance. There's going to be some people that practice BDSM in really bad ways. And there's going to be some people that practice BDSM that know a great deal about consent. Just because to even begin to explore that level of like sexual interaction probably demands that you're either very healthy emotionally and mentally or very unhealthy emotionally and mentally. And my guess is non-standard styles of relationships probably skew in similar ways that'd be my guess so in that exact vein then would you agree that to enter into a poly relationship would require more forethought and more thinking and more like consideration in the same way that entering into a bdsm relationship would because of that that uh bimodal distribution you have a lot of like people who are quite bad to get involved with possibly well but i think that like that happy. level of reflection i think that everybody should do that even if you just do monogamous relationships i think that there's no, not enough like sorry. introspection yeah. that happens even for normal relationship i know the point that you're trying to make is you're trying to say oh well if it requires a greater level of thought to get into an open relationship than a closed relationship you can't really recommend an open relationship for everybody if you don't think people can handle closed relationships but i would say that even people aren't handling closed relationships right now but because it's the default people are okay having so many of them fail in such spectacular ways yeah, I just wanted the acknowledgement that poly relationships would require a greater level. I don't I, I don't know if I agree with that. I think that poly relationships right now require a greater level because if a poly relationship fails, people are going to blame it on poly relationships. But if a monogamous relationship fails, people won't blame it on their take on monogamous relationships. They're going to blame it on things like my boyfriend was too possessive or my girlfriend was going through my phone too much or I don't like the fact that I found out what her body count was or I don't like the fact that my boyfriend did Dated or fucked like two of my friends and kept talking to them and didn't tell me about it. It'll be shit like that. So I, I feel like people in general should do a lot more introspection or thinking about themselves when it comes to like any relationship style, even monogamous relationships. Yeah. Okay. It seems like a necessity to me though, if you believe that there's that bimodal of like really bad relationships and really good relationships, that you would need to spend more time looking into it. I mean, you wouldn't necessarily, like you could just do it obvious. and fucking fail at it. But like, if you do it and fail at it in an open or poly relationship, people go like, oh, look at all this drama, look at how horrible it is because it was an open relationship. Like people look at my relationship drama, which to be fair, of all the people that I fuck, my relationship drama is actually pretty light. And most of the drama that's happened with me isn't even necessarily revolving around relationship stuff. It's revolving around just like fucking loonies online. But like, look at somebody like fucking Ninja. Right? Ninja had to tweet out that he wasn't allowed to play with girls on stream. And like not many people, like people oh, had different takes about that, but that's like, that's actually insane to me. And he's like, oh, I can't do it because of the comments that people make and blah, blah, blah. So it's like, I don't know, like, like I said before, like if, if a that open or poly sense. relationship fails, it's gonna be, people are gonna be like, oh, well, it's because you did this style of relationship. But like if a monogamous relationship fails or people doing crazy monogamous shit, mm -hmm. then it feels like, um, yeah, people are just like, oh, well, it failed for other reasons question I have a question if you are in an open relationship what's the point in being in a relationship at all like why can't you just be loyal to one person because uh, that person is the best dick or the best pussy of all the other dicks or pussies so it's a sexual thing well and they might be the best race which is white what you didn't answer my question. Answer my question. The answer Why? is that there are some people that you might have a very strong emotional or romantic connection with, and you want to share more of your life with that person than you do a random person that you fuck. So there might be a person who you get you have a lot of romantic chemistry with. You like to do cute and cuddly things with them. You like to share special moments, introduce them to your family, go on vacations, live with them. And there might like to be other people who throw back well or give really good head and you want to fuck with them. Just because you fuck both of these people doesn't mean you have the same romantic feelings towards both. I don't know. I just, uh, I just. I, I don't mean, ask me the question yeah. if you're gonna say I don't know. I don't know. No, I can't. Even, I don't know. I'm I can't trying, even fathom no, the answer. I'm, listen to me. Listen. I'm trying to see. Like. You're I'm not trying, trying to see because what I'm saying is so obviously oh, correct. Oh, it's so yeah. obviously right. It's so obvious. It's intuitively correct. Do you ever? Do you have a guy that you fucked before that you wouldn't date? No, I only fuck people I would date. Okay, you're doing the insecure about your body count thing. I don't fucking believe you. There are there no, are I'm definitely not, guys I'm, I'm that women. Okay, maybe you're the golden exception. You've got two men oh, that you've ever let dick down your pussy, and good for you. But yes, there are women that will fuck a guy, and they'll be like, fuck, you know, like now generally women's fucking date standards are closer. But there are definitely guys that women fuck. Like I'd fuck this guy, we get along great with that, but I don't think I could date this guy. It happens. But what's wrong with only dating people you, or only fucking people you date? Like you sit. Who said there's anything people? wrong with it? That you said, oh, you, yeah, that's bull. Like you basically said that that was bullshit. I didn't say it was bullshit ever. If you want to do that, that's fine. That's just your style of relationship. 
You just can't handle the fact that somebody that, might do it different, so you think I'm attacking no, that's, yours. That's if you want to do them in asking. isolation, that's fine. You're not. No, that's you didn't. No, 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 no. You didn't ask. You didn't just ask. I did. You didn't. I did ask. You accused. What? You implied. No, 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 no. Oh my. You God. said. You said. What's wrong with just wanting to do this thing? I never said no, there was anything wrong with it. Why would you ask me? And I did. I just told you. I said I wasn't asking like a negative way. I'm asking, if you're gonna be in a relationship with someone, why be in a relationship with someone else? Like, oh. It doesn't make sense. That's why I'm asking because I'm trying to be educated. I'm trying to oh, okay. pick your brains, mm -hmm. dude. It's not everything is a fucking attack. Granted, I'm a fucking troll, but I'm actually like, because I always have been curious about poly relationships. Because my brain, I'm very family oriented. I'm very like, I want the white picket fence. I want the husband. I want the kids. I want the car. Like, you know, I want the horses. Like, I want that. That's my dream. That is my goal. That's my dream goal, right? So it never makes sense to me why someone, why be in a relationship if you're not going to be strictly in a relationship with one person? That's why I'm asking. Like, it doesn't make sense. Okay, well, I just explained it. I don't know if you can fathom that, or you might have like 12 oh, emotional IQ, every, which okay. is true for most women. So, you know, it's fine, whatever, you, yeah. But I, I think what I said is pretty obvious. I think there are some people you feel a romantic connection with, and there's other people that you just might feel a sexual connection with. But you might yeah. be 55 IQ emotionally, you don't understand the difference between those two things. So, you know, and if that's the case, I do understand. that's fine. I have oh. a pretty high IQ. Then so if you not. understand that, then how can that be so hard to understand in a relationship context? Because it doesn't make sense to me, and that's why I'm asking. What doesn't, you. what doesn't make sense? Tell me. What part? I, just, I don't see the point and like love is amazing okay i'm you know it doesn't even matter because i'm no it doesn't even matter the point is it doesn't make sense and it's okay not to make sense i don't agree with it that's fine people can have different opinions but i just wanted <laughs> to get i wanted to ask i don't um, here's what i don't understand okay i understand why people would be monogamous okay because i'm not fucking retarded so i don't know how you can't understand when you say like it doesn't even make sense if i was talking about for instance having a big doggy not up inside your fucking puss as he you and then I'm like and then somebody's like I don't really understand that then I could totally get it I'd be like yeah that's a pretty hard one to understand be that's a pretty extreme fetish Wait, so sure who fuck okay. but who, if we're like but if you're like I can't imagine I can't imagine wanting to fuck one person while you're also dating another I can't even imagine that is that really that hard to imagine okay who fucks more people you or your wife kind of ruining my point to what, be honest why why is the question even relevant I just I know it's because I, I will explain who more you or your wife. probably me by like five times so you benefit more from the polyamorous relationship D maybe maybe not melina might have closer alternative relationships than i do whose idea was it Bo both of ours Justin, has there ever has there ever been an argument that arose from the i know what you're politics? asking and i know what you're trying to get at but my whole relationship is public and every single question or answer i give you is going to be the exact opposite of what you expect so there's literally i don't know you i, I know what you're know trying you. to get i, you're, I know you. you're you're trying to get at the whole idea that like no. oh melina is a beautiful no, woman I'm, and you just agreed oh, to it because you're even, cocked and blah 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 you have no yeah. idea what my fuck history is like you don't know what my relationships are like you don't know what my past month has been like but if you want to just get to the point just get to the point and stop trying to like stochastically I, get me to this area dude, where yeah oh okay just get to the point I, go ahead that was the point the point is before my fucking chat told me about you i didn't even know who you were i've never even heard of you good okay? i love you okay, okay sorry go ahead i'm asking because i genuinely want to know how your polyamorous relationship started you can't get mad okay when people you're right ask true questions. okay you're right okay you're right here's how it started okay when i ended my last relationship I realized what I thought, here's what I thought. When I was 25, I was like, man, uh, I'm a really horny person. Maybe when I get to okay. 30, maybe it'll like slow down because I heard that when men get to 30, your sex drives, blah, blah, blah. Then I got to 30 and I'm like, you know what? Damn, I'm still a really horny person. I really enjoy sexual and romantic experiences with lots of people. I can't imagine being locked down to one person for the rest of my life. I think I'm probably just gonna stay single after 30 because I can't just commit sexually to one person. I don't think I can do it. And then I started talking to some weird chick in New Zealand whose name was Melina and she said oh hey blah 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 and she told me about her life she says oh I do poly relationships I'm dating one guy right now I've had other boyfriends in the past and I've got a fiance as well and we all get along and I'm like wow you know what that actually sounds really cool we start hanging out and then we start getting closer romantically and she's like oh I think I want to date you too and then we start dating and I'm like you know what this actually seems like a base style of relationship because now I can have you as a partner and if you feel like you're not getting enough for me or if I'm working too much because sometimes I stream a lot or if I'm gonna go fuck other people i can do that and then that's how our relationship started okay you have what the whole... would you do sorry go sorry. ahead go ahead what, what would you do if your wife got pregnant by the man who's cucking you if my wife got pregnant by another guy i mean if it was like a third dude that was like dramatically involved in our relationship maybe it could work but chances are we would probably end up breaking up same as if i got like a random girl pregnant that'd be my guess 
Do you use protection? I only come in girls that make more money than I do. Otherwise, yes. I try to. Okay. Okay. I'm just, like I said, you guys, you guys get mad at women for asking questions, but yet you want, you like want us to be a part of, like, it's just, it's weird. It's weird. Okay. You get mad thank at you, what for asking questions? Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. I've noticed a trend, right? Yeah. So a trend, especially for me, right? I'm, cause, okay. The point is men get mad at women for not being educated, but yet when women try to educate themselves, they get shit on is what I'm getting at. So like, I'm sitting here asking, I'm not trolling. I'm okay, actually asking- Okay, I understand asking what you're saying. Listen, question. listen, listen to me. Okay, I understand what you're saying. Listen, every your feelings are totally fair and totally valid, okay? Um, do you know what the red pill is? Yes. Okay, so I've spent the last year in this space. 99% of the time I get these types of questions. They're usually bad faith attempts to do what you actually just did as a joke at the end there as, what if your wife got pregnant by another guy who's cucking you? I genuinely wanna- That's fine, I understand. But I'm just saying when you phrase it like that, it's like, okay, this person's just trying to do like a random ad hom on me. And that's how Dude, I tend to treat them. I okay? am the least, I'm the last person who has any room to judge anyone on the internet, okay? That's I, fine, but literally. I don't know that. I don't know your history either, exactly. right? I, I barely even you. stalked you. We're getting you. to yeah. know each other. Okay, cool, all right, well then there you go. <laughs> Hey, uh, Destiny. Yeah, what's up? Would you consider Merc an interesting person or a boring person? Because to oh, me, see, now he's sta he's he's doing around it. with ice he's pick oh and fell on the ground God. and bottomized herself. <sighs> She's, uh, Merc she is like the red pill You're space about, yeah, of chatter. I didn't ask you, Destiny. Would you consider her an interesting person or a boring person? Uh, I don't know yet. We'll see. Who knows? She trends between both. It can be interesting and she can also be really fucking boring. So we'll find out what happens. So you know? I can say, I, okay, people like have like things they're actually like, interested in like actually educated on for me that's more like transgenderism and like children and education and lgbtqz why xing the fucking education system and all that like that's something that actually genuinely interests me because i you know work in that field i you know i love kids i love kids a lot and i don't know i just that's my forte so if it's other things, I'll try and like get involved in a conversation. But at the end of it, I want to be educated and I love learning about people. I love learning why their brain is different than mine. And the human brain is so interesting and I love psychology. I'm into all that. That is why I'm here. That's why I'm asking questions. So that is it. That's, cool. That's okay. It. Oh, I gave you my answer. So yeah. Okay. W answer. W. W is in chat. So, um, no, 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 no. Uh -oh. Sorry, I, just, I have to take Destiny back to where we were, just for everybody who might have tuned in in the middle of that like thirty-minute derailment. Yeah, go ahead. Um, we were talking want? about the distributions of healthy relationships from yeah. from bad to, mm -hmm. to good, and how poly relationships probably follow a bimodal distribution. Monogamous yep. relationships probably follow follow a bell curve, like a standard normal curve. <laughs> um, and Destiny said, I I argued that you should have to think more about entering a poly relationship because of the higher variability, like the the riskier aspects of the relationship. And Destiny said he disagreed, people need to do more. So I think that's only valid if you think that you can't suffer, you know, long term damage in a relationship uh, mentally, like you can't have maladaptions. May I interject? No. Um, yes, I'm going to anyway, because I asked nicely. Um, what is your, may I ask your name, please? We call him Jiskel. Jizzle, Jizzle, is what I call him. Jizzle, okay, Jizz call. Uh, listen here, Jizzle, do you get bitches in the real like? Is the internet your life? Like, what? Let me learn a bit, a little bit about you, because I want to know who you are too. Because like, I feel like that's important. Do you get bitches? And I'm not asking this in a comedic way. I'm genuinely asking because you might as well just get to the point. Do you fuck? I don't think he wants to answer your question. Okay, you can decline to answer. So that's a no. Um. Don't you think your time would be better spent uh, outside in the real world getting real bitches instead of sitting here arguing with a man over relationships? Wait, hold on. He, we're, first of all, this is one of my tier three subscribers, okay? Oh, I don't care. He came for me first, so I feel like we get, it's a level playing field. You know what I'm saying? It's not about being a level playing field. It's that I need people that are invested in these conversations. Otherwise, oh, I'm not well, going to make invested. any money, and then I don't get any bitches, and now none of us oh, are happy. Oh, okay? okay. So this is, okay. I get it. All right. I understood. So you don't get bitches, and that's that's okay. Everyone, you know, everyone's different. Okay, I see. Okay, good job. Okay, sorry. Just I just hate women so much that hey, I can't you know imagine what? going out into I the hate... real world to try to find one. And thank you, you've just proven out exactly so that feeling. Okay, no, no, no. Just, okay, stop. I, I just okay, we got derailed. Women. We got derailed. I'm very sexually attracted to women. We I got derailed so much. We got derailed. I can't imagine got derailed, going out to try to find one. Right we got derailed, now. but thank we're you. back. We're so back, baby. Okay. Gistical, what's up? What's your question? Sorry, back <laughs> where we were. Yeah, before. so I was just saying that you, you basically to think that you don't need to put additional thought or additional consideration into entering a poly relationship means you think that there can't be actual damage done. Would you agree with that? I don't, 
if you're trying to make the argument that like you shouldn't recommend poly open relationships because they require more thought, I I would nope. disagree. Okay, what's your not what I'm Okay, saying. sorry. Let's go step by I'm step. Saying, go, ahead. go ahead. Yep. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm saying that you have to put more thought into entering a poly relationship, probably significantly more, uh -huh. because the chance of that relationship being unhealthy is higher. The chance of that relationship being way better than most of your monogamous relationships, I'll even okay, grant you. Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. There's a lot of different statements in here. So that first one is, do you have to put more thought into it? I don't think I necessarily agree with that. No. I think that right now, though, I think the standard for the thought that you put into a monogamous relationship, I think that it is embarrassingly low. So people have this false idea in their head where they're like, you know, poly and open relationships, that requires a lot more thought than a monogamous relationship. But then people are very quick to hop into a ton of unimaginably unhealthy monogamous relationships. That's what I feel. Sure, Jeez. and I'm not disputing that. Basically, all I'm saying is that you're, if, unless you, if you are asserting that there's that bimodal distribution, you believe in that, then I'm saying that But I'm not saying the bimodal distribution is inherent in the relationships. I'm saying the bimodal distribution is inherent in society. That like if we were in a social, if we were in an area where socially like poly open relationships were accepted, like normally, my guess would be that they, the distribution would probably become a normal distribution like monogamous relationships, where there'd be some unhealthy ones, some really good ones, and a lot of them would just be in the middle. But right now, since it's like a queer form of relationship arrangement, then it's probably, it's probably gonna follow um, a, a bimodal distribution. Probably like arranged marriages do, that'd be my guess. So arranged marriages are probably, probably the really good matter, or really though. bad. Go ahead. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Um, I just I don't see how that would matter given that we live in a society that has those cultural norms. Yeah, sure, but like I'm part of culture and my goal is to move the needle a little bit. So that's my attempt to move the needle. Wait, yeah, sexual sure. harassment was a cultural norm like fifty years ago. Wait, <coughs> sexual can I, what? Can I ask your just ask, don't like say sexual harassment in the workplace of true cultural norm. You know, and it probably like, still is. And it's worth pushing against. Sure, I agree. Um yeah, don't say, can I ask a question? Just ask the question. Okay, go ahead. Um, so what is your, and listen, I already know what your chat's gonna fucking say, okay? Oh, she's asking because she wants to know, what requirements do you and your wife have to include people in your relationship? Like, is there any boundaries? Is, is there any... <laughs> what? Why? What? You're consistently the most retarded person to hey, ever... Hey, bitch, no one know. asked you. Anyway, Destiny, can you answer the question? <laughs> um, <laughs> what are the uh, requirements? Um, from my end, my preference is, is I just don't want anybody that's like shitting on me. I think that's kind of weird. Um, you don't want to be shit on. Yeah. So like, for instance, um, if it's like a, if it's like a streamer that hates me, that's trying to like fuck Molina to get oh, to I me. Oh, I thought you meant actually shit. Like, like Good one. people. No. no, no, I thought scat. I thought you meant scat play, dude. No. Oh my God. Yeah. So like that type of thing that I probably feel like not the greatest about that. Um, for Melina, <coughs> I think her requirements are pretty similar, and she also probably wants to make sure that she feels like I'm fulfilling all of my obligations or needs in a relationship, and she doesn't want me, like, running off and having a ton of fun with random girls if she feels like her needs aren't being met or fulfilled. What advice would you give to someone who wants to try polyamory? Like, where, like, because, like, the purpose of having, like, a, like, an educational conversation is kind of, like, not necessarily to sway people, but provide evidence and facts and, like, real-world connections as to why it works out for you and maybe sway other people's decisions and actually open their mind. So what would you say to someone who's, like, interested <coughs> in polyamory? Like, how would you convince them to, like... Uh, my goal isn't to convince anybody. My thing would just sure. Like, I no no. I'm just saying that like if you're a type of person, you've done some relationships. And you're like holy shit. Like being monogamous is really hard. Or I find that I have a naturally very flirty personality. Or I think that the concept of these types of relationships seem fun for me. Then I don't know. Communicate with some partners. Like get some feedback or gauge how other people are feeling about it. And then I don't know. Go from there and maybe try to explore those relationships. Don't just tell you your current partner that oh I want to open my relationship. That's probably going to be the end of your relationship. That would be fucking retarded. Um, and don't just like you know, like dump your current partner and join a fucking polycule on a whim or whatever. Like it's something that would require a lot of introspection and a lot of conversation with your honest conversation with your current partner. So you do acknowledge that polyamory is not for everyone. Yeah, but monogamy is not for everyone either. I don't know. I'm just okay, saying that no, try I, it. I'm just saying I try it. No, I agree. I'm not, dude, I'm not attacked. I'm not attacked. I'm just trying to have a conversation. Cool. Do you get attacked a lot on the internet? Yeah, I don't think you know much about me, but yeah. That's why I'm at. Yes, I don't know much about you. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, that's my whole fucking life. Okay, that's what I do. How does that make you feel? Um, I I don't know. Flattered, I guess. If so many people care about me. Like, do you gen like? Cause like for me, I feel like it's weird. Cause 
I treat the internet in real life as two different people. Like, I, I play a character on the internet, and then in real life, it's completely different. I feel like... I want to say insecurity is human nature, because it being is, insecure yeah. is a part of growing and developing and, like, advancing the species and being a better person. And if you're not, like, insecure, you're not going to want to change. But I don't know. Like, I feel like people... Like, me on the internet, when people say shit about... I get called. Every name in the book. I get treated like shit, and I genuinely don't care because it's the internet. But, like, in real life, like... <clears throat> it's, it doesn't feel good to have people say bad things about you, especially if you know who you are as a person. That's why I believe in like energy and intention. For me, I know that in real life I'm a good person. On the internet, I may be perceived as a bad person, but I don't care. So where do you draw like the line of caring and not caring? Uh, I typically know who I am. I don't respect the opinions of strangers on the internet, so they tend not to bother me. So that's basically where it starts and stops with me. Did you unironically just say uh, do what you're doing the I'm just pretending to be retarded thing as if that doesn't make you an absolute idiot to begin with? You Sorry, my brain doesn't comprehend. Did you not just say you're a character online? I don't remember what I just said. Naming stuff? Okay. Yeah. Good job, guys. Okay. Sick. Gistical and Jacob OG. Anything else? And you guys have a lot um, to yeah, say in chat, so yeah, go. Whatever you want. Uh, unrelated question or semi-related that I got sidetracked off earlier. But yeah, it's a go ahead. Diversion for this. Do you um? Do you think there's a lack of like? what you consider good male role models for a reason or do you think it's content that just isn't engaging and they'll never be rea um, not reactionary enough but inflammatory enough to get views like it seems like they don't exist really and it, it does seem like there is a lot of lost people out there with uh, how <clears throat> big tape took off and stuff I know this isn't a field you're trying to even go into but like it, it seems interesting and it <clears throat> seems like there's a vacuum almost yeah I don't even know um I'm not sure if there's good role models or not anymore. I don't know how I've ever even engaged with it. My role models growing up were usually in anime and usually in um, in uh, video games. Do those role models still exist? Those are the ones that I had. Like generally in anime, especially in shonen, you're usually espousing like the virtues of like friendship and justice and protecting blah blah blah. And in movies, it was more or less the same. In video games, it's usually the same. Um, in early TV shows and movies, it was the same, right? Like even your Rambo's and your Sylvester Stallone's. Um, you know, we're generally beating up bad guys usually, right? Terminator 2 is beating the bad guy. Does that not exist as much anymore? Or what do you think? I have no idea. I, I don't know. And maybe it was just always um, a void that was just hard to fill in now that we have short form content. It's easier for people to find like false gods is probably like a, a bad term, but like something like that. Like I'm going to speak from personal example. Like I liked a lot of athletes, but I never really viewed them as idols. Like Michael Phelps was really cool. But like, I'd never looked to him for how to live my life. It was just sort of like, oh, you have these traits, which I emulate. But now it seems like everyone's viewing like Tate or Fresh and Fit and all these as um, I want to be literally this person and their entire lens for the world is true. Same with Elon. Like there's just so much of that, it seems. Um, yeah, I don't know if that happened as much. I never did sports. Um, I don't know if people looked up to like Tiger Woods or Michael Jordan's like personal life. I'm not sure. Yeah, and that's that's kind of something I'm wondering if there's a disconnect there because I like I had idols as a kid, but they weren't like a, a person I wanted to be. They were people who had some really cool accomplishments or some traits that were like really cool, but like didn't want to be that person and they didn't have the same cult of personality that it seems like Tate or mm -hmm. any of those people do. And I do you think there's room for like people who are sane to even encourage people to like move in a good direction? Or do you think it's just the the type of medium only wants um, inflammatory content and that's the only people who will get views or I truly I don't even know I would have to like spend time like going to school and like talking to like boys and figuring out I don't know maybe I should go talk to Nathan's classmates and figure out like what do you guys what do you guys look up to or what's yeah because the idea of like it seems to be and I could be wrong but it seems to be a relatively new phenomenon where people feel like they have to look up to a person and get every single answer in life from one guy that yeah, seems exactly. to be like really weird. I don't know if that's ever been the case before. Yeah. I remember Sneeko said that as an insult to Moist Critical, and I thought it was really telling. When Sneeko was having his screaming match with Moist Critical, he's like, people don't want to do you. Like, look at your, look at the example you set in life with how short and cogged and like, nobody's trying to copy your lifestyle and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, what? Like, I just watch Moist Critical because I think he's funny. Like, I don't look at Charlie as like a role model for my life. But then I noticed for people like Sneeko, when he respects a man, he tries to copy every single aspect about that guy. And then people will also do the same with 
these people online. I see that like red pillars uh, on subreddits and shit, they do these same things. Like, oh, like how are you going to look up to destiny? Like you don't want to do this or be a gamer or do this or blah, blah, blah. And it's like, what? The only thing I want people to copy from me are like political thoughts. I'm not here trying to sell my entire lifestyle to somebody. Like why would you copy every single thing about an individual? That seems weird and obsessive. But people view, um, right, yeah, people, people view like red, yeah, other people online like that, yeah. But, and it seems to be a thing, but it also seems like none of the people who are being accepted for this, like, weird uh, whole identity thing are anyone even completely sane. Maybe I just don't know where they are, but, like, it's kind of wild. Do you, do you think there's a, some kind of filter away from that, or? I don't know. The problem is that there's a lot of money to be had for getting that kind of fan base. Like that's that's the issue is that streaming and now like lifestyle stuff is maybe that's the next evolution of it. Like streaming was the ultimate evolution of getting people committed and engaged. And the next step is like getting somebody to be obsessed about you and your entire lifestyle. Right. A hundred percent. Is it true that you're bitchless? Sorry. Sorry. Are you talking to me? I'm not. No, bitchless. ignore that. Go ahead. Um, I forgot to mute. My bad. Is, um, is it? Is it only um, strange? Like people can get these followings now, but none of the people getting it are what seems to be healthy people to me. And I'm one, trying to understand why that would be. Like, is it just not engaging or entertaining? The problem is like, <clears throat> have you uh, have you read uh, <laughs> the first Harry Potter book? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Do you remember the thing that Dumbledore did, the trick in the mirror, where the only way the Sorcerer's Stone would appear in your pocket is if you weren't going to use it? Oh, the people who are healthy enough to have a fulfilling life aren't trying to be Rift role models for every single else. individual Absolutely. on the internet. That yeah. actually makes sense. Yeah, you're probably only gonna attract like the most schizoid, like off mental people into this world. And so those are gonna be the ones that end up being the role models. Cause like, can you imagine yeah, if actually. you can like think to your life of like, who's like a healthy man that I've known, who's like a good upstanding guy, takes care of his kids, maybe goes to church, participates in his community, like this guy's not putting a camera in front of his face and streaming 24 seven fucking ever. You're not finding yeah, those that, people on the internet, right? Yeah. The couple times I've been stupid enough to call into your show, I've, I've already got some fucking griper who's posting me on chan because of like two appearances sure yeah um okay so like it's probably just uh maybe people don't want to do it yeah basically yeah or like the really healthy well-adjusted people aren't spending their times in these spaces being role models because it's just not their lifestyle they're not they don't run in these circles yeah i think you guys are on <clears throat> slightly two slightly different wavelengths i think jacob is uh he's thinking about people who are unhealthy engage in these spaces and destiny's talking about how like it's psychopaths who are willing to like say I'm right about everything and listen to everything I say and give me money. Or even just like, be here. Even just, even just be here at all. Like I don't think you're gonna find like a normal, conservatively, like decently valued guy like as a full time streamer. There's not in these spaces. I got a question. May are we able to um, like bring up other subjects, or is this just strictly relationships? How, what I'm, are you about I'm to not just done totally with the pivot or? distribution stuff? Why are you not done with it? We've talked about it. Because okay. he's wrong and he needs to admit it. Oh, so someone is wrong because they have a differing opinion oh than God. you. It's not a different opinion. It's a logical inconsistency and I'm too you're autistic in, to let it go. You're logically inconsistent, dude. Go jerk off, get some bitches, and then we'll talk. Anyway, Destiny, may I ask a question? Uh, maybe, but I might ignore it. What's the question? Okay, so, like I said, I don't know who you are. I'm trying to get to know you, like, see who stream I've been coming on and, like, about the kick or keep stuff. I'm doing my research. What uh, information was sent to me about the about orbiters and fucking a mass shooting or something? I don't know if it's real. Maybe no. It's fake. Okay. Maybe Stop. No. Okay. What's your? Okay, Jacob. I think you had other questions. What were you gonna say? Um, there are pretty hard pivots. So I'm gonna let Jstock go back to his. Jstical. What's your thing? Yeah. So it's just it literally it just boils down to like mathematically you're pulling from two distributions they're set up differently if with forethought you can reduce the randomness of those distributions then obviously you'd want to do it with a higher risk distribution right you'd want to like invest more time to make it less likely that you're taking risk like it it just boils down to statistics basically I now with, know with the argument you gave but hold on we're talking about how things are but as a influencer, my goal is to change the way things are and to make them closer to how I want to be, right? That'd be like me saying like, guys, listen, we really need to go out and vote for Biden. And you're like, well, statistically speaking, right now, 51% of people are gonna vote for Trump and 49% of people are gonna vote for Biden. So I don't know why you're telling people to vote for Biden when statistically speaking, that's not gonna happen. Like that doesn't Wait, make are you... sense. No, 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 that's, that's not quite right. You're, you're saying you give people advice and you might think the advice is better, but you could say that and you could say, um, but it wouldn't matter with regards to like investing time and doing more things to prepare. It's just like you 
I don't even know what the influencer point means. Like, you're not going to tell people what the truth is because you're an influencer. I I know that's not what you're saying, but that's what it. That's what I'm hearing. What I'm saying is that if you think that an alternative relationship exploration might be interesting to explore, then you should try. Don't let cultural norms hold you back. It might be worth like introspecting on that and giving it a shot. Same thing I say with drugs. If you think that trying LSD or mushrooms and you could do it in a responsible environment setting it might be an interesting thing to try. Like it's worth considering. Okay, and I totally agree with that. And I'm gonna let it go after this because I, I think we've like we've stopped. But to me, it's like if you think so. If we go back to the BDSM relationship, which was the example you brought up, um, those have a higher chance of being like, oh, that's what you're really into. So they could be really good, but they also probably have like a in that case a higher chance of pred predators being there. So they have a higher chance of being really really bad. Another bimodal distribution. Yeah, but that'd be another so, thing where the distribution is bimodal because of the pushes for who goes into it. But if I tell somebody like I could probably say something like I think everybody should like look up and try a BDSM thing just because the education that you would get and need to even entertain something like that, I think would probably be good for most people. I would say that too. Wow, well, okay. punch. Thanks for gifting fifty subs. Yeah, it's it's fine. Um, I. <laughs> I still have some uh, other stuff, but Jacob, uh, go. what? Oh, Jacob, go. no, finish off, finish off. Wait, do ahead. these things connect to each other? They must, right? Are you talking to me? Like, He's do you talking think about these, his video game. Do you think these fluid buffers connect to each other? <clears throat> Sorry, go ahead. Uh, for the guy, Jacob, bye bye. Oh, uh, go to JSTOC. <laughs> okay, JSTOC. Okay. Um, so I was going to bring up a point where I think, um, I think this could be partially an explanation for why there's a bimodal distribution there, because that's my intuition as well. Um, and that's that it's like quite a bit more difficult to make a poly relationship work. And so advising, like I would say, if you were advising it to people, it's like, I would tell them you should probably know how a regular relationship works already. Like you probably shouldn't just be jumping into one with no experience. Um, because I think people who jump in with no experience will tend to have like, you're taking something that's already really difficult and just like, you know, exponentially raising the difficulty, managing multiple partners and that jealousy. So you should probably have a regular relationship first. It's something that requires more experience, in my opinion. What do you think? I just, I don't know if that's the case. It might be, maybe it's not. I'm not sure. I don't know. Like, it's probably true, but like your first even relationship is going to be really hard. You don't always know like how your first relationship is going until you start doing one, right? Like, like, if you've never been in a relationship ever, should your first relationship be, like, an open or poly relationship? Probably not. But if you've done two or three normal relationships and they don't work because you, like, lose sexual interest or because you feel like you want something more or you feel like some needs not being met by one partner or your partner's getting jealous because you've got too many close friends that are of the opposite sex, then maybe that's something to consider. That's all I'm saying. Just depends. Like, I think everybody should maybe try anal if you want or try, like, oral sex. But, like, should that be the very first sexual experience you have? Maybe not. I don't know. Probably not. You probably want to do traditional normal sex first. Everybody should try like crazy sexual positions. I think just doing missionary is boring, but should your very first time be missionary? Probably, sure. Okay. Good. Okay. Jacob, up a kaboom. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you, um, well, base thing for get, good for getting rid of NSFW. Is there that banned for memes as well? What do you mean banned like, for memes? Can you post like not safe for work memes if it's like not about like Kuma shit? <clears throat> can you post? Um, probably not because I think if I say you can, I think people are going to abuse it just to boast porn. Okay, based. Um, yeah, having porn of people on stream is kind of weird. Um, what was I going to say? Um, for your, um, you're pushing back against misogyny in the chat, right? I guess. Again, yeah. Misogyny arc 2.0. Let's go. You, um, would you be willing to accept that some of that might be fueled by some of the people we have on there's um, some really based intelligent women on here that's awesome and ayla is one of them I was <clears> yeah it's possible but like having crazy or silly or dumb women on stream shouldn't feel misogyny i think that's kind of a misogynistic thing in and of itself right that's part of the problem probably yeah but like i guess i've gotten nuked before for shit posting about ayla but like i'll shit post about vegan gains all the time as well and it I know for me, at least, it's not different. Is it just you have trouble sometimes selecting in a broad field and it's hard? Yeah, to there are like... some crazy, retarded, insane women that come on the stream. That's true and that's fine. There are also some crazy, retarded, insane men that come on too. Like Right, like Vegan Gains yesterday was saying some ridiculous... I summoned him, I'm sorry. Careful. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll whisper. Um, okay, that's fine. Uh, do you think it's kind of... No, this is... 
No, actually, let's do it. Do you think it's kind of weird that Bella showed up after the Quiznos salary leaked and then wanted her own show and wants to change the show after she got kicked out in two rounds? What does that have to do with you, though? Um, I think having ideas, I think, is fine if she wants to. I mean, I'm always open for ideas and wanting to do another show. I don't know. Everybody wants to now that Q has kind of, like, followed through and made one work. But, like, I think for Bella, I don't think it's that weird because she doesn't really have a big history with me. She just, like, sees something work. Wait, what just happened? Merc left. Angel Merc just left. left. Wait, wait, wait. I love you. Um, Wait, wait, wait. Did she leave? Okay, well, I'm going to head out. I don't have anything else to add. Okay, be careful. I'm just going to link a clip in chat, Destiny, if you want to watch it with stream. That was, I think, the statement that I was, like, mostly annoyed by. We, we went over it, but just okay, just so you know, it wasn't listen. totally made up. Okay. I hope it's in the middle of me trying to scream between, like, three people screaming me down. Let's see. Um, I, I think that you can argue that a similar thing exists in open relationships, that it might be okay to feel a little bit of jealousy based on how your partner engages with somebody. Not many people do the same thing. They just bullshit themselves by pretending that, like, oh, like, I, my man never looks at another woman. He never even thinks about another woman. Except okay. So when I said monogamous people do this thing, your interpretation of that statement was all monogamous people do this thing. Because I think this is a thing monogamous people do. It's probably not all of them. But I think earlier we agreed that like, or at least Jacob agreed to me that like up to half of monogamous people do this. Where like girls will police their boyfriends like Instagram likes, for instance. Okay, well, you did you say like some monogamous people? Because without the qualification, I guess I would assume. Sure, like you could just make like the most assumption, ridiculous one you can. That's fine. Which okay, is well, okay. you cooked the fuck out of me for saying exactly what you said back to you earlier in this conversation that you were saying monogamous people were insecure. You cooked the fuck out of me for that. Like, I think that's a much broader ago. statement, but like, I wouldn't say all oh, monogamous God. people. Well, the problem is that here, here's the issue. The problem is that one, I'm not fucking retarded, and if I am, then you're fucking, you're even more retarded for watching me. So let's start with the let's start with the foundational assumption that I'm True. not a total. True, I can't deny you, this. Sure. So let's start with the foundational assumption that I'm not a total fucking retard. Let's start with that number one. Okay, and then the second statement we can have is I've made a lot of statements about poly and monogamous relationships that usually go something like poly and open might not be for everybody. I can understand why people do monogamous relationships. Sometimes they might do it out of jealousy and blah, 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 but I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. And I think you're this terrific, right? I've made those statements before, okay? So if both of those things are true, which we know are true. Then we've got a third statement where Destiny is in a fight with four other people that are screaming down his throat, and then he makes a slightly ambiguous statement. Why would you interpret it in the most ridiculously horrible way possible? Wouldn't it make more sense to go okay. like, oh, Destiny's probably like screaming with other people. I doubt he means that all monogamous people are jealous, insecure people and their partners, and he probably just meant like, this is a thing that they do, and it's not all of them, it's like a behavior that, why wouldn't you just make that assumption? Like when Perfect. I hear a song, so somebody why didn't I get that skin. same charity for being somebody who doesn't stream, doesn't really engage in Discord conversations all the time? And I, I made like a slight misstep, but you cooked the fuck out of me for it. Because you constantly anti-post and chat about me. So I, w I would assume that you're like trying to cook me. In fact, I'm pretty sure that if I go to look up your logs for that night, there are probably multiple times where you were all cap spamming about how I'm like coping on some poly shit. If I were to go check, would that be true? Mm. Yeah, so yeah, so of course you get a little bit less credibility from me because I think you personally think I think you do think poly or open relationships are probably f***ing degenerate I think you are slightly socially nope. conservative at least a little I think you do okay or at the very least you type nope. that way and you act that way online constantly Okay, Is he done I think you you bait me into thinking that because you're so f Oh, abrasive cool. sometimes and I I do the thing you do where I let you define oh, okay, what I good. think because you well, that's seem good. so ridiculous sometimes that good. i'm just like naturally I'm good then we can just trigger that. each other into retarded positions which is what the whole that's a microcosm of the entire political landscape in the united states right now so based there you go what?